just finished the Super Duty axle swap. I put in the front drive shaft, I put in the rear drive shaft, I t uh, added fluid to the rear differential, I changed all the carrier bearings, pinion bearings like we were talking about earlier, and I got everything within spec. The uh, marks look real good where the pinions ride in on the carrier and the ring gear, so all of that's good now. Um, I cleaned the bed off and I did a little bit of spray painting on my brand new drive shaft because they didn't spray it. That's fine. I was in a bit of a rush. Um, so I did some painting on that. I did a little bit of touch-ups here and there with the black spray paint, of course. And it's time to see if the Super Duty axles are going to work. So we're going to go ahead and fire the truck up, let it warm up a few minutes, and then put her in drive, or first gear, and see if it'll move. So I've got the glow plugs on, the cold time in advance on, and the fuel pump is on. We're just going to give that, you know, about 10 seconds. Turn off the glow plug, give it a little bit of diesel. Let's just do a little walk around and look at the work that I did. So we're going to ignore the puddle of gear oil. Look at that, that's awesome. Ignore the puddle of gear oil. Look at that nice drive shaft. It looks so professional with the paint on it. That is a 1410 U-joint drive shaft. That is the same tubing diameter from the 2006 Super Duty that this chassis or these axles came with. I had them put new tube on it, new U-joints. That's a new 1410 yoke for the transfer case from Summit Racing. Cleaned off the bed. Ran the wire for the CB, mounted the CB, we'll look at that here in a few minutes. This is the closest the truck's been to driving, basically since January, February time frame when I blew the front differential out of it. That is just the right look for a 70s Ford. Look at those nice mean tires, winch bumper, LED lights, clearance lights. So we're going to see if the differentials are going to work. I don't know if the transfer case is in too high or neutral or four high right now. It might be. So I'll get back with you guys here in a few minutes. So we're getting ready to go take our first spin. This is the first time that I've attempted to climb it with the two feet of the upper So it drives, that was first gear. Just drove it about 20 feet out of the barn. Look at that whip antenna, almost 10 feet tall, 102 inches. I was hearing a little bit of power steering noise so I just had to top off that pump. This is the first time it's been outside in probably four or five months.
Let's hop in and see how it drives. Here's that CB radio I was talking about. Still need to shop back the carpet, all the metal shavings. Catching a little bit of skip right out of there. It's pretty cool. It's warming up. First time it's been outside in a while. First gear. So it drives. How about that? Well, it's just going down the road. We're in third gear. We're going faster than that. That speedometer was for four tens and what? About 32, 31 inch tall tires, whatever was factory on this truck. I'd say we're going about 30, 35. Everything seems tight so far. How about we do a braking test right out of the box? So one, two, three. Stops pretty dang straight. Way better than what they used to do. Oh, I've missed driving this. Well, I took her on a short four mile run. A uh, few issues right off the bat. I had a six and a half amp fuse running the electric fans. Well, it instantly blew. So we had no fans for a little bit. I just swapped it for another one, a 30. I think I have two brake calipers hanging up. I have not been on the brakes. <clears throat> yep, this one's hanging. Yeah, because it felt real sluggish. And I checked this one earlier, it looks like it's hanging. Definitely hanging. So, we're gonna have to order new brake calipers, probably all the way around, we'll see. What about this guy? That one's doing good. 93 degrees. Doing real good. Yep, two on the left are hanging, so we'll fix that.